in these set of videos, what we're going to do is we're going to now look at type in a li little bit more detail. In previous tutorials, you've seen me deal with type. When you're dealing with type inside Dreamweaver, when you're changing its font, changing its color, etc., all, from all the properties down here, what happens is Dreamweaver automatically generates an internal style sheet, a CSS style sheet, which governs that text which is a set of rules governing the appearance of that text. So we're going to have a look at this in a bit more detail. What I've got here is I've got the template, inter uh, internal template provided for us by Dreamweaver. And it's the restaurant home one, I think. And what I've done is I've deleted the external style sheet. So it's basically got no styles whatsoever associated with this template. So it looks a bit naff. What we're going to do is I'm going to go in and change a few things. And we're going to have a look at the code view and what Dreamweaver is actually doing on the code end of things. So let's start. First thing I've got is my text up here, which is my title. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this. So I'm going to select the title text. And what I'm going to do is from the default tab, I'm going to choose to set the group type Arial, Helvetica, and Sans Serif. And you can see supplied those changes. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to actually change the point size and I'll say 36. So we've got a nice big title of uh, 36, and that's pixel size. Um, and what I'm going to do now is simply change the, c the color of the text through this area here. And I'm going to select that and just use white. And you'll see that it's now converted the text to white, which is brilliant. Now if we have a look at our code view for a second, you can see my title eat out is over there and it's embedded inside a column and inside a small table and up here you can see the style basically we've now generated a style you can see that over here and the style refers to as dot style one um, text forward slash CSS and the style name is style one and we've got the font family which is Arial Helvetica and Sans Serif we've then got the point size the font size and we've got the color which is white now if I go back brilliant so that's my internal style sheet and I've shown you previous tutorials on how you can convert that to an external style sheet and link that to various other website pages if we go back to the design view a very good common practice when developing websites is to convert titles using the h1 tag the h1 tag references for heading and it basically makes the websites a little bit more search engine friendly it also separates the main body of text from various titles so what I'm going to do is select this and from format I'm going to select heading 1 and that is now referenced that with the h1 tag and automatically you've seen it's become bold as well now Dreamweaver will do this it automatically converts h1 tags into bold so let's have a look at this if we go to code and we can see the h1 tag has appeared you can see that in there and you can see that in there so it's now recognizing this as a heading one now however if I go to design and what we want to do is we want to open up our CSS panel from up here and what we can do is if you select current and you can have a look at your font family and the fonts um, the font size and the color basically just referring to your style one um, sheet which is a current style sheet or we can go to all and we can look at style one inside here and that gives you the um, properties inside here as well. What I'm now going to do is select style one. Yep, select style one, and I just want you to click this tab here, which is edit style. And what we can do is we can go to type, and we can change that type, or we can make it smaller. So what I'm going to do is make that slightly smaller. I'm going to go to 24, and the weight I'm going to say to normal, not bold and select apply and select OK and you can see now that what I've done is basically edited edited that style and removed the bold tag and I've also made it smaller as well so that's one way to edit the style uh, if we go back now we can see that style has now um, been edited like so 